Now we continue our team coverage of today's major story that the Target 12 investigators broke first. Former House Speaker Gordon Fox charged with corruption. I don't want to feel callous to any of the people of the state of Rhode Island, any donors, including you mean the people close to me, the people that looked up to me, my family. You mean it's tough. The man once regarded as one of Rhode Island's most powerful politicians fought back tears this afternoon shortly after pleading guilty in federal court to bribery, wire fraud, and filing a false tax return. And Target 12 broke the story first on Eyewitness News this morning and on WPRI.com. And only WPRI.com reporter Dan McGowan was outside Fox's home this morning before the charges were officially announced. Are you going to, you, you are going to appear in court today, correct? Um, that's the plan. As part of the plea deal, Fox now faces three years in prison when he's sentenced in June. Federal prosecutors say Fox, quote, looted his campaign funds to pay for personal expenses, including his mortgage, car, and credit card bills. Prosecutors say he also accepted tens of thousands of dollars in bribe money to help a restaurant on Providence's east side get a liquor license. The charges come nearly a year after the dramatic raids on Fox's state house office and his home. Eyewitness News has obtained the search warrants for those raids. Kelly Sullivan begins our team coverage live in our studio with what she's learned from those documents. Well, Mike and Shannon and I have thoroughly read through the pages and pages of these search warrants and affidavits, and the court documents outline how former House Speaker Gordon Fox used $108,000 of donated campaign funds for his personal expenses. They also reveal perhaps the first red flag back in 2004 when Fox got rid of his campaign fund treasurer and made himself treasurer. The raids at both former House Speaker Gordon Fox's home and State House office last March were the result of these. Search warrants obtained by investigators show they were searching for all of Gordon Fox's personal and campaign financial documents and records, along with any computers, iPads, tablets, and cell phones. Now that the search warrants have been unsealed, we now know what investigators found. According to the court documents, from 2008 to 2014, Fox transferred about $108,000 from his campaign account called Friends of Gordon Fox into his personal bank accounts. The campaign donations, the documents show, went to pay for several personal expenses, including mortgage payments, car loans, and even credit card bills for purchases at retailers like Urban Outfitters, Tiffany's, and Target. Investigators found Fox filed at least 60 campaign finance reports since 2008 as required by law, but Fox failed to report the transfers he made into his personal account and even listed the campaign fund having a balance of about $212,000 at the end of 2013 when bank records revealed the actual balance was 52400 When you ask people for money to support your campaign for public office and you use it for something else, You've lied to them. There is no other way to say it. You've committed fraud. The documents show Fox may have also committed tax fraud as he didn't report the money he took from his campaign fund as income on his 2008 through 2010 tax returns. And now Fox pleaded guilty in court and was released on personal recognizance. Now it's up to the judge to accept the plea deal. If she does, that means in June, Fox will be sentenced to three years in federal prison. I'm Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.